I follow, says my pig friend. Well, sorry, buddy. Oh, Alia. Ooh, a big babe. Well, sorry, Alia, but I don't think you can follow me into adventure mode. So here we are at the doorway to adventure in order to find and defeat Maxwell. My plan is to make a video for each of the five worlds, and I will do my best to show them off and just show off what adventure mode entails. Alright, don't panic. You're just in a world where it's eternally winter, but that's fine. Let's just rummage through this dead guy's stuff. And we know how to make an ice staff now. That's great. As if it needed to be any colder. Rabbit earmuffs blueprint. I guess that'll help. I guess it would be too easy just to give me some winter clothes, huh? Looks like... We have some living logs and a heat stone, so the heat stone will help. Living logs, not so much. As the intro screen mentioned, there are five different worlds that you have to get through in adventure mode, and I kind of I kind of talked about this in my previous video, but I'll I'll just briefly rehash it here since this is going to be the beginning to it all. You have to find and construct the different pieces of the wooden thing, machine, or the teleportato, whatever you want to call it, uh, five different times and just like hop to each of the new worlds. Let's just make a trap for good measure. Sorry if I'm <laughs> distracted, I'm trying not to freeze to death and also explain what's going on. So, there we go. Let's put a carrot in there. Yeah, he wants it. He's coming. Right. So, the final two worlds are predetermined, but the first three uh, are randomly chosen from four possible ones, if that makes any sense. <laughs> There are, there are like six possible worlds altogether, but you'll only get to see like five of them in one playthrough. So, uh, hey rabbit, do you like, do you like meat? Your rabbits are carnivores, right? I guess not. They don't want it. That's fine. Beggars can't be choosers, you know, rabbits. I'm just saying. So, this King of Winter one was one that I was hoping I would not get, since it's going to be eternally winter, essentially. But whatever, you know, you gotta gotta play the cards you're dealt. And I don't, I just need, I just need a stick. And I'll be able to make some rabbit earmuffs. All right. Perfect. Got a couple dead rabbits covering the ears, and I think we're basically... I mean, I've got this down pat. Winter's got nothing on... rabbit corpses tied together on a string. So going into adventure mode, you're not able to take anything with you, like from survival mode, but... As you progress through each subsequent world, you're able to take uh, up to four items with you, just from whatever you have in your inventory. So I had hoped if I did encounter this level that I'd be able to take like a beefalo hat with me or like a puffy vest, just anything to help not freeze to death. But it seems that it's going to give me this one right off the bat, unfortunately. The thing I have equipped now, and I probably should have mentioned this earlier, <laughs> is uh, a divining rod, and it's it's getting angry, Wolfgang says. And it just essentially acts as a like a homing beacon, and it'll get louder and like kind of vibrate more often the closer you get to different pieces of the wooden thing machine. 
I, uh, I don't know if it'll do... Oh, sounds like I'm... Oh, robot box. I'm sorry. I'm getting farther away. I don't know if it's gonna help me find the base of the wooden thing. Uh, I hope so. I guess there's only one way to find out, really. Oh, it's scaring me. The reason I chose Wolfgang for adventure mode is because he gets more, uh, like, health and uh, a bigger stomach and hits harder. So, oh. All right. Back on track. And in the middle of this ring of evil flowers is our first piece. Whatever you say, Wolfgang. I will bend into perfect circle. So I saw a spider. I think I'm gonna try and collect as much silk as I can before the spider nests get too big and I'm not gonna be able to light a tree on fire unless I want a whole forest fire on my hands. So I'll just try, I guess, and carry the torch for now. All right. Time to get me a puffy vest. Only well, thing is, it doesn't really look like there's a cliffside I can trap him by. Maybe I can chase him into the fire. You look like you want to heat up, little buddy. Come on, right into the right into the fire. Just get. Nah, he's not not gonna fall for it. Well, I might have to wait until he falls asleep. Hopefully I don't have to wait until nighttime. That would kind of suck. But if I can kill him, it'll be a good amount of meat, and I'll be able to get a trunk that I can hopefully make into, uh, into a vest. Come on. All I have to do is hit him once, and I... Oh, that's perfect. Just relax. Let's all just relax by the fire. Just get chased by... Oh, God, he pooped. Just get chased by a winter qualifant around the fire. What could be more relaxing and soothing than that? Than hacking into this majestic creature with an axe. I can't think of anything, to be honest. What a way to spend your winter. Uh, hmm. Gotta get rid of something. Let's just chuck that on the flame. Alright. So, lots of meat. That's good. I'm just gonna drop this. I don't, I don't really need that. Okay. And now, I guess I have to find gold to make an al- uh, like a science machine. So I could even make the damn vest. And maybe hopefully find some beefalo to make a hat. Ugh, it never ends. Okay, I should get a gold nugget from this boulder. You can see the gold streaks in it, which indicate that yes, gold does drop from it. Oddly enough. You'll see in these boulders around me that uh, they don't have the gold streak, and that means that they probably won't drop any gold at all, so I'm not gonna waste my pickaxe and just waste any time. Let's just... Let's just keep moving. And it seems like Robot Box has detected another piece nearby, so let's see if we can't make ourselves a puffy vest. Oh, what? Since when does it need beefalo wool? Oh, that sucks. I must have changed the recipe since I last made one. Well, I have just enough silk to make it, which is uh, pretty lucky, actually. But I need a couple pieces of beefalo wool. I do appreciate that they kind of lowered the requirements to make a lot of articles of clothing. Like, the puffy vest used to require 16 
pieces of silk and just the koala elephant trunk. But it's only eight now, and like the top hat only needs, um, I think like four, it said. And oh my god, I have hit the jackpot. The mother load. So I'll definitely have to set up camp there, make an alchemy engine. And where there's poop, there are beefalo. Okay. And of course, it, of course. So I haven't showed these guys off in um, a video before, but this is the McTusk hunting party. You can see the igloos on the minimap. In the winter, they're, uh, they're not normally supposed to be hostile, but they'll kind of stalk you, and if you get too close, they'll attack you. And it's the Scottish walrus here, McTusk. His son, Wee... Oh my god, these wolves! His son, Wee McTusk, or a smallrus, if you will, and uh, a couple of their blue hounds. So, uh, they're shooting blow darts. And I have to... Oh, I really wish I had, like, a log suit or something. Okay, there's only there's only two I can Oh good, more dogs. Oh, I really hope they don't kill all the beefalo. That would I mean I guess I do only need two pieces for the vest, but I want to make a hat too. I also do not want to die. All right, let's make a grass suit for protection. Just for the hell of it. That could have gone better. I guess it could be worse. I guess I could be dead, but I have like no health now. I'm not sure what ha I guess the McTusks died. I don't know where they went in all that chaos, but let's just get the wool and get out of here. I also need a horn to make the beefalo hat, which is new. Used to be you just needed the wool and that was it. So you gotta make sure to have one of these on me. I don't really... I'm, uh, get rid of this stupid feather. I'm not planning on using the grass suit. I don't think. <laughs> I sort of just made it in a panic. All right, let's just get the next piece and get out of here. Best not to linger by the McTusks any longer than you have to. Even though they're totally hiding one of the pieces in their igloos, you can just tell. I know it's in there, McTusk. You're not fooling anyone. Kind of sucks that they killed all the beefalo. <laughs> I think there's like one left, but I don't know. I think I'll have enough wool to make a beefalo hat and a vest, but uh, I'm not sure. I might be cutting it kind of close. So two pieces down, still have to find the platform and the remaining pieces, but that's, uh, that's fine. Let's liberate our gnome friend from these evil flowers. As I was mentioning, uh, oh! Okay, uh, lots of beefalo, actually. That's... that's pretty great. I'll have to make sure to shave them all in the dead of night. As I was mentioning in that, uh, that free-for-all, the McTusks come out during the winter, they'll set up igloos, and, um, yeah, they'll, they'll hunt you down. They aren't hostile, in, like, unless you get too close, but since they kind of, like, stalk you, it's a little hard to prevent that from happening if you don't keep running away from them. And uh, when it's like during the summer, their igloos will melt and there'll be just like a little ring on the ground uh, from where you can like see that it'll it'll get set up. That's kind of interesting. Kind of a pain to be hunted down by Scottish walruses, but you gotta take the good with the bad.
Okay, can I make the vest now? I just, I just want to be warm. Okay. Puffy vest. So warm, so puffy. Downside is I won't be able to have a backpack, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I'll uh, just leave everything up here in the meantime. Just in this base of operations, I suppose. No, that was not me breathing heavily into the microphone. I'm sure everybody assumed I was a mouth breather, but now that's, uh, that's, that's Deer Clops. I made a video about Deer Clops, and, um, I think if I just avoid him, I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure he isn't hostile unless you attack him first, so just give him a wide berth. And is that, uh, oh yeah, it's... It's just, uh, just the small wrists. There's no, no Papa McTusk leading the hunting party. Junior's taking charge. Leading the hounds on his own. He's finally becoming a man. I'd almost be proud of him if I wasn't completely fucking annoyed by him following me everywhere. Seriously, McTusk, piss off. What's nice about having all these winter clothes now is that I can kind of explore unabated, really. Except for, well, giant deer cyclops prowling about, but other than that, unabated. Oh, wait, did I act? Wait. Oh, no. I thought you couldn't aggro unless you attacked him first, I guess. Hmm. I guess it's a proximity thing. Well, that is going to make finding these pieces a bit... a bit trickier. Maybe I can lose him on the spider's nest. Everybody knows that spiders have Napoleon complexes. They just really hate anything that's larger than them, so maybe we'll, uh... No, they, they hate a dog more than a giant... A giant deer cyclops, that's fine. I seem to have given him the slip. Alright, note to self, never go in that area again. Alright, Robobox. Robobox, what is it? You found another piece? Uh, oh. Well, this is new. Obelisk. Um, hmm. I wonder if I have to, like, mine it loose? I've, I might have to look this up. The reason I've banished Wolfgang to stand in the corner, away from the fire, is because, uh... Well, he's been very naughty, and... No, um, I actually need him to go insane. Turns out, um... Once I hit insanity, the obelisks should lower, and I should be able to to keep on going, and I assume... I mean, I'm, I'm bound to find something there, at least. I, I kind of have the feeling that I'll find uh, the base of the wooden thing machine, but I'm at least one of the pieces. I guess since my vest gives me sanity back, I'll take it off. I know I, I <laughs> did all this just to get the vest, but... Oh, tree guard, chill out. I was gonna plant them back, I swear. Well, whatever. Everybody, hold on to your britches. This is gonna be a really exciting fight. Riveting stuff. Robot Box is getting angry. It's screeching at him. 
It's scary! Stop it! You're frightening him! But we found another piece, and... <laughs> a couple of farm plots. Which is sort of useless in a world where it's eternally winter, since nothing's gonna grow. But... I don't know. I guess it can appreciate the gesture of goodwill. Oh, that is a clockwork bishop. Well, it seems I found the base here. So, it's not behind the obelisks. I have to assume I'm going to find a piece behind it, though. Hmm. So, a clockwork knight and a clockwork bishop. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to make myself uh, some weapons. Got to make a log suit. Alright, it's go time. I've got a nice staff. The bishop has lightning powers. I'm no elementalist, but I'm pretty sure neither of those things are each other's weaknesses. Ah, damn it. I thought I could fake him out. I could have sworn that I dodged his little lightning bolt one time. Hmm. Maybe he wasn't aiming at me, though. Might have been when I had some pig friends. No, no. Well, my log suit seems to be holding up pretty well. One of the reasons I'm using the ice staff, uh, aside from the obvious one of just incapacitating everybody, is that every time you use it, your sanity drains a little bit. And I uh, still need to to lose my mind so I can bypass those obelisks. And what better way than to channel the elements and corrupt my soul by using magic. And there should there's just one knight left. And hey, I have a pig friend helping me out. I've said it once and I've said it again. I'll say it again. You can always count on the on the kindness of pigs. Except for when you need to fight deer clops, and they're like nowhere to be seen. Oh, still an open. I'm like right on the cusp of insanity. Do I really need all those like squiggly lines on the screen? And oh yeah, look at that. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, there's another row. That would suck if, like, somehow you got stuck in between them. I mean, I guess you could just wait for your sanity to go to back down, but... That's assuming you don't starve. Well, good news is we're on the right track and we're pretty close. Bad news is we're going insane and now rabbits resemble the stuff of nightmares. It's in a pig's backyard the whole time. You stupid pig. Do you have any idea how much of a hassle it was to get this thing? I'm losing my mind! And he's treating it like lawn art. Just stick it in the back, maybe plant a ring of evil flowers around it. Really adds to the property value. I actually wonder how these things pop up. Like, are they going to spring up just immediately, or do I have to leave the screen first? Kind of like a watched pot kind of thing. Oh my god, McTusk, screw off! Well, sorry everybody, we're not going to get to watch it. No fun McTusk is here.
Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't know the living logs did that if you burned it. Oh, my God, that's terrifying. <laughs> I also like how Wolfgang is just rocking himself side to side in his insanity. Uh, the wood screams when I burn it. Nightmares are everywhere. All right, let's plug up. Oh, no, can't can't use it yet, apparently. Well, let's, let's build this first, then. Alright. It's beeping and booping. That means... Time to unlock. I wasn't really sure what to take with me into the next world. I think in the very later ones, I'll want to take basic supplies like grass and twigs, because that'll be kind of scarce. But I figured I'd take gold in case I needed to make like an alchemy engine or just any other kind of recipes that I didn't have yet. And I think winter's supposed to factor in pretty heavily towards to like one or two of the remaining worlds. So I'll take like some warm clothes and an ice staff since that, that helped out with the clockwork bishops. And I'm sure I'm going to run into a bunch more. So let's journey onwards.